What's up, people? It's time for some more, uh, I guess, VOD reviews. This is going to be my third VOD review, and I'm playing against the same person who I always play with, someone who I guess kind of coach or something. I don't know. And then it's me with my team of Cell, Base Vegeta, and Bardock versus his team of Cell, Base Vegeta, with Super Saiyan Vegeta. So... Last time, one of my main goals was to just get a little bit sharper and neutral and to be better at pushing leads. And I guess this is what we're going to be more, the most critical for me on in this VOD review. I'm pretty sure this first game we're looking at is going to be a loss for me. I just want to see exactly what happens. So I start off aggressive and neutral. Trying to get a uh, an early hit because I'm usually don't start off. I usually don't start off rounds pretty aggressive like that. And I'm not sure what happened there. My other my assist I don't I think just didn't come out. Oh, and then right there, so funny thing happened. Uh, it's not funny at all. So he actually got hit by base Vegeta bug to where base Vegeta. His assist has a weird property to, I guess the move has a weird property, period, to if you block it. So usually on hit, it has one hit. If you block it, it has multiple hits on block. But something happens to if you block the first hit, then if you get opened up by someone while you're blocking, it'll hit multiple times. Not only will it hit multiple times, but it will be un... Uh, what's the phrase I'm looking for? Like, the the damage won't have any... Uh, sorry, it's early in the morning, so... Basically, the damage won't be capped. So all of the damage will be true damage, for the most part. Like, your hits won't have any scaling to it anymore. That's what I was trying to say. The hits in the combo, after falling after you get hit by the multi-hit of the assist and get opened up, that combo won't be scaled any longer. So you'll be hit by true combo damage the whole time. And that's what happened there. His cell just got blown up. So, I'm pretty sure we're really laughing about that just how stupid it was and I was explaining I'm pretty sure what's happening here is I'm explaining what just happened to him so hurry up come on I don't got all day well it's neutral definitely okay there we go now you get hit by a change. See, this is what I was saying before. Also, I'm pretty sure. Like, that's where I could definitely fail the cell. Uh, the cell jab nerf. I need to be a lot more careful with my lyrics though, because I kind of layered it right under him and put myself in another position where I had to play in disadvantage. Uh, another bad lariat. That should have been punished, like super heavy. Uh, dropping combos. That was pretty good. Uh, dropping combos though. Nice DP. I swear I was... 
Like, I remember that happening, and I'm pretty sure this is why this is a blue combo. Because I could have checked out, but I thought I was blocking, so. And the reason why I poke out there, I figured out this habit of mine. When I don't punish something that I had it in my mind to punish, then I just... What the heck? Then I just have it in my mind to try to press buttons after that. So right there, I should have punished that Vanish. And I was thinking about Punish and Vanish because I figured out it would come out. So I ended up pressing buttons in a spot where I wasn't supposed to be pressing buttons. Uh, another drop. That could have been a death of his Vegeta too. Oh, probably would have been. Nice back dash from him. He didn't need the vanish there. Another bad lariat. The thing about it is though, is I'm trying to figure out how to use moves like lariat better. I should have used sparking in the very beginning. Of this match, I think. And I lose because of a bunch of bad lariats and bad moves in neutral. And dropping a lot of combos. Dropping a huge amount of combos. So, yeah. Uh, it was another probably good match. I should have this one. I wish there was a way where I could mark sets that are games that I really want to see. But Fighters doesn't really have that feature, so... Gotta make do with what we got. Really enough, I started the same way I started before. A good poke out by me. I noticed that he was staggering. Go for the reset. I don't know how I got hit there. I don't even know why he pressed buttons there. I, I wonder why I dashed for it there. I should be layering out of the corner in these situations where I get double jump for free. And he drops his Vegeta. Oh my god. Alright, now I need to stop dropping combos. A smart little double switch. I don't think I expect him to get hit by that one, so I just didn't really try to combo there. Uh, I don't know. There are a lot of sloppy button presses that don't need to be pressed on both sides. Mostly mine, just because of the nature how I play. That was a good assist call from me, though, just to stop him in his tracks. But then I didn't have any more assist, and I wanted to keep the turn.
That whole time. Like, because you can jab out of that move. But, I don't know. Maybe it's just harder to do on Wi-Fi. So I think I was trying to jab out of 5M. Uh, no, 6M. But... Go for the mix-up. I don't know what that was. Oh, I know, I know what was going on there. Because he's in the middle of the screen. So instead of going for the high-low, I went to go for the left-right. That was a very smart vanish. Because I was waiting for that vanish the whole time. And I guess he knew I was waiting for the vanish. And I figured he wouldn't know whether or not that would hit him because the loop is ambiguous. So as soon as I threw it, I was going to wait for it to touch him once and then vanish. I knew he wouldn't be ready for it. So worst comes to worst, he would try to punish with the 2H and wouldn't be able to because he's in block stun. Let's watch maybe two more. Which one is this? So, I don't think I expected the Vegeta assist to get hit. I noticed that he didn't have any assist. I already made him waste both of his assist. So, so, what I was just going to try to do is, ooh, nice reflex. But I already was making him use his assist there, so he didn't have any more assist for neutral. So I was going to call my assist and make him block my assist and then put him in disadvantage. But I called an assist in bad spacing, so I just got the assist hit and I got hit. I don't know what he tried to press there. Get Cell back in. Like, that was punishable from him. He tried to press buttons in a horrible, in horrible spacing, and that's death. And I get to keep Bardock in, if, uh, but I didn't want to keep Bardock in. Oh, I remember why, because I wanted him to get that little bit of blue health back. No reason not to, especially if I feel comfortable playing base Vegeta. See that? I like to do that timing because it covers Vanish if he's going to backdash and Vanish. Call him Bardock. But I forgot that I used my double jump. I need to be careful with those Lariats. Nice wait. I saw he got punished before, but I saw him rushing again. That's probably when I should use the Lariat is when I see people just dashing in at me. And then here I'm gonna try to bait the, the uh, sparking, but I didn't bait it well enough.
Uh, I timed it too late. There. I figured out the thing that people do to where if you vanish when people are changing while in the corner, then you can catch the switch with your vanish and then get a combo after that. I figured out the timing for it, which is it's pretty easy, but I just missed the timing barely there, and I don't know why I threw out 2H. Also, don't know I got hit there. Maybe I was trying to jump. I got my jump clip by low. Went for the reset. Vanish to keep my turn. He didn't have super dash anymore because super dash told me to get there. It's not my turn anymore. Alright, good. Nice poke out for me. I couldn't convert though. Uh, uh -huh. he. I mean, it would have been much cleaner if I ended it with the the little spacing shimmy. Into Vegeta two one four light or two three six light, but that was pretty good. All right, and last one. This might be the last one, I don't know. Depends on how good this game is. But I don't think I've had any better snowballing leads. I should have super jumped that, probably. I couldn't convert off of that. He did his move at a bad spacing. I missed my combo. And I'm trying to stagger. I was trying to stagger, so... Oh, ran into Kamehameha. So I get my assist back. And I think I was trying to poke out there. Uh, that was so bad. And I think kind of lucky on his part. He dropped the combo, and then I pretty much gave him something back for it. I keep forgetting. Like, I never realized when I use my double jump in neutral, and then try to do a switch combo. I should be more mindful of that. So what do I do here? I know he's going to want to spark. I feel like for the most part, I'm only dropping combos with Cell, and I feel like it's mostly because of the changes to his medium. I tried to do a little set play there. I threw up the key blast for the setup, make him think about the key blast, and call out Bardock assist, and then I went high. I don't know what made him block high there because I was standing on the ground like that whole time. Nice.
That's really good. I love Bardock Medium. I swear he jump. He always jumps. That's something that I'm pretty good at. Is picking out people's. Ah, uh, yeah, one day I'm gonna get that. If I reflected that last move, I had it for sure. He's a little bit preemptive with the Dragon Rush. That was an okay game. Still, though, always have... Well, to be fair, though... I actually don't remember what happened earlier this game, but so died early. Like, it's not like I got him at a character disadvantage and then I just lost, so... So died early and then I had to put the game in the even state and then win the game from that even state. And then what is the last game to watch? Let's watch a game super early. And this is going to be the last game that we're going to do. I saw a lot of these games out super, super aggressive. Go for the reset. Yep. Cut out the jump. I didn't think that he, I didn't think he's gonna get hit by that, and I didn't think he thought he was gonna get hit by that. So I think he tried to. He was trying to check for it. Mm, I missed my poke. Confirm. Ooh, the Bardock medium. Hit him with the level three. See if he blocks the mix up. I did the mix up very poorly there. That's something I need to practice on. Nice tech. Get base Vegeta back in. I don't know what he was trying to super dash at. That must have been an accident. And I think this kills. Ooh, nope. Just barely didn't. And then, oh no, what? Nice. Empty vanish. Get Bardock back in here. What? I hate when that happens, actually. That happens a good amount. I was trying to 2H there. What I was trying to do is I like to do something. If super, people super dash me from the sky, I'll try to run under them to give me more time to react to the super dash. But I couldn't run far enough. Ooh. Luckily for him, though... He wasn't in the assist hit anymore, so that combo wasn't unscaled. Or else he probably could have died here. I thought he DP there. And then those are all the games for today. Uh, I think for the most part, I'm steadily improving. 
again to I think in terms of game knowledge and me knowing combos I'm better than I was before but in terms of movement and mechanics in the game I'm not 100% where I want to be so my neutral this game I think was a tad bit better in some er games and uh, not a tad bit. I think it was a good amount better in some games than it was in the last sets that I played but things like dropping combos and poking God at wrong times on defense are hurting me a little bit but the thing about it is I'm willing to get punished for poking out because that's just the style that I'm gonna play because people don't know how to deal with people who will poke them out and call them out on their staggers and that will stop a lot of people's staggers it's something that for the most part the only other person well, one of the only other people who I know that does it as often as I'll do it and as aggressively as I'll do it is uh, Sonic Fox. So, yeah. But other things like neutral decision making, especially in, in disadvantaged decision making also, I need to improve on. Because there are times where I could have escaped with Bardock and with Larry or something like that in this game and I just didn't do it not even because I didn't think it was a good idea but because I wasn't even thinking about those options so that's something that I need to get better at especially against better players because if they get you in options like that a lot of people won't even give me the chance to jump up multiple times so once I get the chance to jump up one time then I should just get out of there double jump and then Larry it my way out it's not really anything any other person can do to catch me except maybe vanish after me but by that time that's just wasting vanish and I'm already pretty much going so yeah I think these sets were pretty okay that was it though hopefully everyone likes the games King Dove 7 signing off peace